I, Sanyo Okamoto, write this in my own hand. This is a forbidden diary of my secret counsel to the Son of Heaven and the Emperor of Japan. I write this even though it is forbidden, for these are grave days for the country I love and the man who I serve, who is more than a man, I believe. He is our divine ruler from heaven. And we are now on the brink of a war, which will surely be the greatest war Japan has ever or will ever fight. It is not a war that seems promising to me, though none would listen to me other than his divine son himself. For I am blind, I am poor, and everyone thinks I am merely kept around the imperial court as a sign of the emperor's divine compassion. Yet in secret, I am his counselor. He says, although blind, I see better than most with sight. And I have warned him that I have grave, grave misgivings about the path we are about to take. And yet there seems to be no other way out. Certainly, the dogs in the military, they are rabid dogs. They want war. They desire war. And the Navy has come to be the same. I see no way to prevent them particularly with Roosevelt's actions of late cutting off our oil. If we're going to strike before we're weakened, now is the time, and Admiral Yamamoto has told us he can give us a window of opportunity, but that when that window closes, well, everything may be very, very different. I am sick at heart tonight as I write these words, but the emperor has made his decision. The word has gone out to our forces, and now... We stand on the brink of fighting not merely China, but perhaps ultimately the entire world. Our allies in Germany, what can they do? The people of Japan will stand alone. We stand with our divine leader, with faith in victory, although I myself will confess here and here alone of my grave doubts and fears. May I be proven wrong as we fight for the Emperor Banzai. Hey everybody, it's the Wargaming Guy. Welcome to Strategic Command, the Pacific War. I'll give myself a round of applause and welcome to the last game I'm pretty sure that will ever be recorded, at least by me, in this room. Uh, it's a little noisy, I know, because I have to keep the air running because it's really hot. But uh, tomorrow I'm moving a lot of the stuff and by Wednesday I should be in my new place with some internet. Hopefully we'll get the internet sometime Wednesday morning so we can move ahead with this. So, having said all that, and then the week after I have knee surgery, but let's not talk about that right now. Let's talk about this. The Day of Infamy, the entire campaign from the Japanese side. Yes, I said I'd do it, and I'm doing it. So, Japanese supreme victory. Basically, let's see. Tokyo, Osaka, Hisaking, and any three of Batavia, Calcutta. Whoa. Canberra. Wow. Chongqing, or whatever. Delhi, Honolulu. And Manila? Wow. Okay. <laughs> or Tokyo, Osaka, Hissing, and any four of the others by July of 43. Both require the USA's national morale to be below 60. 
Wow. Okay, that's an interesting. I don't think they've ever had a supreme victory condition. Uh, decisive victory, though, is bad enough. Let's see. What's the minor victory? Tokyo, Osaka, and any one of the other Japanese national morale, 15%. So, okay. Japanese national morale is 15%. Or above on Japanese for or Japanese on January first, nineteen forty-six. Okay, so we're gonna play the campaign, and um, we are going to be the Axis. Uh, we're gonna leave things here just the way they are, and um, let's see here. National College. We do not want the evil last term summary, weather, fog, of war. Yeah, all that looks good. We'll go ahead and run with. Uh, this and because um, that's really the only choice they give me unless we want to do the 2D or the 3D units which let's actually see if they look at that they look about the same you can go with or without the little base on them but let's just not do that let's do this buckle up because there's going to be a lot of stuff that will be happening as soon as the game loads I'm pretty sure because uh, this is the big one. And um, we'll see what happens. Yes, indeed, it is the big one. All right, get ready. As we enter into a new conflict to liberate our Asian allies from Western Dominion, we need to consider our strategies going forward. It's essential to inflict the strongest blow as possible on the U.S. Navy. Uh, it's vital that we conquer as much territory as possible so that we can rely on income from these. We need to impede the flow of supplies to China via the Burma Road. Conquering Burma will strike a blow against both China and Western imperialism. We rely on you to run wild and win victory after victory in the process of creating a new order in East Asia. That's right, the greater co-prosperity sphere, which guaranteed prosperity for the Japanese and nobody else. Uh, forthcoming alliance with Thailand. You're advised to declare war on Thailand so that our forces in Indochina can start advancing towards Burma. However, there's no need to seize Bangkok as moves are currently underway to bring Thailand into the war. On our side, declaration of war on Thailand will not prevent this alliance. That is so weird. And a Thai Corps will soon join us in our drive to create a greater East Asian co-prosperity sphere. Our forces in amphibious transports in the Gulf of Siam are to be used to conquer Malaya and Singapore. Do not use them to capture Bangkok. I have done that in the past, so that's probably very good advice for me to pay attention to, if I can remember it. In striking a blow at Western imperialism, we need to capture those places that are of most use to them. These include uh, Philippines, Borneo, Brunei, Dutch East Indies. However, do not neglect hitting out in other directions. Sure, because I have nothing else to do. Uh, like India, Australia, New Zealand, and other small islands. The more we capture now, the greater our income, and the harder the fight will be for the enemy. Do not to forget to consult the strategy guide, too. The commies in Yang'an, or whatever it is, Yang'an, Yanang. Uh, open conflict with Mao's communists may be avoided, uh, at least for some time, if we don't advance close to their territory. They have a 60% chance of swinging, 5 to 10% towards the Allies. If any Axis units are within two hexes of Jian, Yang, uh, Lanchao, or Chang'ung, or Chang'ing, or something, or three hexes of Yunnan, only advance towards those places if you're ready to fight the Communists, too. Huh. Intelligent reports, style bubble. Okay, only Japanese units in set locations can deter Soviet mobilization. Units belonging to our allies will not impress Stalin. Darn it. However, the Emperor Manchuko's forces can reduce the frequency of partisan activity. It may not be possible to prevent all partisan activity, through the presence, though the presence of the units of his units within eight hexes of Harbin will reduce it. Keep Manchuko's units within eight hexes of Harbin. Keep Japanese units in Man whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is, and whatever it is, Harbin and his scene. These locations are displayed on the map with blue hatching or red hatching if Japanese units are not present in them. Okay. And Pearl Harbor. Here we go. So, 
where oh there i was gonna say there was a fleet with us so here we go we're finally here so first of all i'm gonna try to remember to do this set the mode um the question is should we just go straight bombers or should we go mix that's the question well let's go with what we've got set and see how it goes Okay, so there's some other guys. Do we get two shots? We do. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so we'll stick with bombers. Notice the airfield. I'll talk more about that in a minute. I actually read the rules on, on airfields. A rarity for me. Got him. Well, I guess that's about as good as it gets. Although I suppose you could like go for these guys and bring your Navy up and try to kill this guy, but that would be pretty costly. So now the question is, look at this map. Good Lord. It is humongous. Um, the question is, where do we go from here? Do we, uh, do we stick around? I don't think that's a good idea. Um, so we probably ought to head back towards Japan. Now, the U.S. will take time to build up, and at some point, probably somewhere in this general vicinity, we're hopefully going to have a big showdown and wipe out the American fleet and keep them down. That's the strategy that worked in the past. Whether that strategy will still work today, I have no idea. All right, so these guys, ooh, they can't go very far. I was expecting them to go further. So we're going to bring you right down here. So if anybody comes out to pursue the Kido Butai, they'll regret it. Uh, let's put you here. Because we got to protect that. Dilute, 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 dilute. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, man. What are we going to well, oh, shoot, an army. I mean, we're going to need that army. But, of course, I'm sure that's one of those towns I can't, like, leave open, right? Um, or is it? No, it's not, actually. I don't see any here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have to, like, maybe make some garrison units and put them in there. That's what I've done in the past. I know that's really just creating, holy cow, um, problems for later. But really? What do we need to, what do we got? We got 150. Um, let's just save that for later. Um Look at all these under strength units. Ah, Japan, what are you doing? I, I don't think we have to worry about an invasion at this point, so let's get this guy moving. We'll start to switch some of these units out. Well, he's obviously. Well, Okay, fine. No one's going to attack him for now, so I think upgrading is probably more important than um, reinforcing at this point. <sighs> Look at that. 89. I'm already down to 89. Wow. This is going to be a long, slow process, apparently. Really? Well, okay, we're going to... We are going to upgrade. We're not going to do the... It's too tempting to... Yes, there we go. I'm going to hit these Chinese. I want to have guys that can actually fight as best as possible, as well as possible, as good as possible. Whatever the word is, that's what I want. So we're going to go through here and kind of pick <laughs> six points. So that's it. Nobody's going to be able to do anything now. All right. Um, I suppose we could try to move forward. We do not want to mess with the Kami base, though. Uh, unfortunately. 
It's not in a good spot. In fact, it's in a really bad spot. Do we have any? Yes, we do. Uh, there we go. Take it. Okay. I think we'll just leave him there. This guy really bugs me now. I'm not sure where these guys are supposed to go. They're, they're, they're Philippines. They are the Philippines. Okay, so we suffered some casualties, but we are ashore. We have a port. That's the most important thing. Whoop. Luzon. Ah, crap. Ooh, Manny. Well, it's all right. We did all right. Uh, let's see. What are you? Okay, your special forces. Awesome. As I said in my uh, first look, special forces do have supply. Um, nice. Now I wish I hadn't... Um, oops. I hadn't... Um, Fired those over there. Probably should have set those over here. Now, air bases. Let's talk about air bases. The air base is not the rule. It's not on for the campaign game, although you could turn it on if you wanted to. But basically, air bases su uh, give supply to both um, air units and ground units, and they have to be put next to like a, um, a friendly hex or in a friendly hex, and then you can supply that so the supply can go up and down just like say for a headquarters unit and so the air base uh, rule puts some limitations on what you can do with the um air units which i think as i said in my first look thing i think that's probably a good thing um but we'll see all right now okay so can you get to brunei Got it. Brunei's ours. Should fall. Okay. Um, Sarawak. Again, we should be able to do it. Boom. Got it. That's good. Singapore is going to be a bit more of a problem, however, um, as it was historically. Um, we don't need Bangkok. So if I land here, well, what else can I do with these guys? Obviously, I can hit along here and drive on, but I can't get down here. I don't know. I don't see anybody that's going to get anywhere near there. Um, oh, I got to declare war, don't I? Um... Thailand. No, that's Tibet. <laughs> that Thailand? That's Thailand. Yes. Feels weird, but yes. All right, now. Man. I am not having real good luck on uh, landing these guys. Shoot. I may need to... Oh! Okay, that's interesting. There, now we got a port. Um, but we got this guy up here that we need to do something with. Can, oh, here, here we go. You can't reach? Oh. 
Ah, man, my special forces are having a rough day. Killed him off, though. And Oh, come on. All right, we're going to send this HQ this way. Um, I think we'll move you over here. And I know they've got ships down here. They've got to. Yeah, there's one. It's only a destroyer, though. I was expecting the Prince of Wales or something. Maybe they're somewhere else? I don't know. Um, let's see if we can do something. Oh! Hello. I think I just found... Yeah, I sure did. But we're not going to sink you with air power, unfortunately, because we can't. Oh, crap. We didn't sink you at all. That does not make me happy. Ah! Come on! Rats. That, that did not go well. We are going to reinforce... Um, okay, let's push you forward, put you there, bring you down this way. Uh, ba 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 ba. Yeah, things didn't go like incredibly great, but let's see what this This is also not going to go incredibly great. That's interesting. I moved away, this opened up like for a partisan, I moved back, it disappeared. We're going to have to start cranking out some units, I'm afraid. Um, what else am I missing here on this hugely important first turn? We're not... Of course, we're not actually keeping up with the speed of the real, what the Japanese actually did, because nobody can. Uh, we do have a Navy here. Really? Let's see. Okay, so we're already in truck... Do I want to take this or do I want, oh, I can't get to Guadalcanal this turn, I don't think. We're going to need a base for it anyway, so I'll tell you what. Yeah, I can't do anything. Let's scout out down here and see what we got going. I suspect there may be some British stuff down here, but who knows. Uh, let's just put you here. Well, yeah, we'll just put him there to keep safe. Okay, where else have I got troops? Um, well, these guys. No. Oh. Um, I'm not sure what medium bombers. Who are they supposed to be bombing? I can't reach anything. <laughs> okay, I don't know who they're supposed to be bombing, but um, no land units here, but oh. So are you going to wake? I think you are. Bam! Wake is ours. Yeah, that's the problem with this high of a level of game. You don't get all the uh, amazing stuff that actually happened on Wake because, you know, you just don't. Okay, so I should have probably not used up all my MPPs and I could have sent this guy down this way, but we'll do that maybe next time. Um... All right, so I think everything is accounted for. Let's just take a look at research to see what we've got. Um, not have any money. <clears throat> Excuse me, money for it, but uh, working on mobility, bombers, fighters, naval construction. What is that? Increases supply distribution value of ports. Not connected to major capitals. Okay. And production tech. So there's a lot of stuff we could be doing here. We're maxed out here, though, so that's nice. 
I definitely want to work on infantry, weapons, and probably, well, long range aircraft is always a good thing. We're working on advanced fighters, so that's pretty good. Let's just see if what we've got coming. Ooh, okay, nice. So we do have some guys coming. That's going to be a big help. All right, and with that, finally, we are going to go to the allied portion of turn one. The Chinese people welcomed the U.S. entrance into the war. I'm sure they did. And their morale falls. And the British morale falls. And the U.S. morale falls. And the uh, Japan celebrates. Brunei surrenders, of course. 19 MPPs. Woo. Um... Hong Kong surrenders. 24. Really? That's it? Yeah. Would have thought that'd be worth more than that. Sarawak surrenders. What are we going to get out of that? 61. Okay, now you're talking. And we can grab that oil field next turn, too, up there. Okay. We got the ties with us now. The mighty Thai army, which will strike fear and terror into the hearts of very few people. So, what else have we got going? Um, yes, it does. Why is this happening? I must have accidentally hit it. Uh, okay, Burma's deploying their forces. Marines mobilize at Pearl. Thailand deploys the whatever that is. Uh, in panic, the Philippines as the Japanese advance on Manila. USSR sends aid to Kami, China. Allied raiders disrupt Brunei, Japan convoys. How dare... Whoa, 336. Yeah. Now you're talking. Now you are talking. All right. Um, with Japanese forces threatening Burma and potentially India, it is strongly recommended that we send some forces to assist the British in this theater. Huh? Um, why am I seeing this? We, we have a problem here. I shouldn't be seeing these things. Did I set up the game? Oh my god. No, I couldn't. I, that's a bug. That's a bug. Oh, boy. There's uh, more of a navy out here than I thought there might be. That's not making me too happy. Oh, boy. Run away. Good, good. Oh, man. Oh, we don't want to go too near the Chinese, stupid Chinese commie places anyway. Darn, he got away that way. Ah! Oh, that makes me mad. Dang it, I wanted to sink that little twerp. That is a bad failure. Okay, great. See, why am I seeing this? I'm going to have to write them a note or something, because uh, this... Uh, that was also weird. Okay, this I should be seeing. Uh, placing an interview in the Red Hats near Bia. Got it. Uh, the Yamato. Woo. Okay, we're going to put you right there. Um, yeah, let's just... It's not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. Where, when am I just do this? All right, so they came... One popped out and ran away, so... Um, the question is, can I do anything here with my carriers? Not really. Um, but maybe s is the marshals where they need to go? Um, yeah, let's take Guam. I think I should have done that last turn, but oh well. Um... All right, let's just, if I want to double time them, 
which I don't know that I want to do. Let's send them this way. We can help them take some of those southern islands towards um, Japan, or Japan, towards Australia, and then uh, maybe draw a few carriers out, split the U.S. Navy up. That would be a nice thing. Okay, his uh, supply is only five. Yeah, so let's let's move him back. Okay, so we've got you. Do we want to keep him there? Probably. Um, okay, we own that. We own Tarawa. No, it's British. Yeah, skip the upgrade. Okay, can't go anywhere this turn. Um... You. All right. What is the upgrade? Infantry. Well, if we're going to go down there, we may definitely going to need that. So let's just scout around and see what happens. There we go. We'll cut down their supply and just see how they react. There we go. And we'll also move you up. And, really? Let's see. Yeah, we want the long range. If we're gonna, if we're gonna hit the uh, allies, we need that. All right, um, we're gonna, I think let's save China for last because it's, <laughs> it's not always the most exciting. Um, but I want, I really want that battleship. Not finding him. Dang it. All right, heavy cruiser. Boop. That's not what you wanted, but it's something. And you're paying for it. Ugh. All right. Can't reach him anyway. Okay, um, here. Ah. Dang it. All right, get back. Oh. Oof, he's in danger now. We are in danger of losing that guy, and I'm not happy about it. Okay, let's take that. There's nothing over here except a couple of ports. So I think at this juncture, we'll pull you back. Um, meanwhile, you guys have got to get going. All right, we're going to send you down. And everybody else. Um, let's send this guy up here. We'll send him up north and try and flank them to the north. Can I? You know, I can attack. Get him. Nice. Very nice. Bring you up here. Ugh. We're already short of everything, which is <laughs> very Japanese of us, if I may say so. so. They were stretched so thin. You, you can't get there. Can you, um... All right. I, 
Let's just upgrade him. What have I got? Okay, I've still got quite a few MPPs. That's good. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Sure. He can't move anymore? Oh. Okay. Well, wait. Yeah, Rabal is... We need to take Rabal with this guy. ASAP. Um, then we'll worry about Guadalcanal. Yeah, definitely. You can't do anything. Um, I don't really have anything in the country that'll help much. That's a Japanese army unit, so there you go. Um, yeah, we need to reinforce him. Uh, okay, so we're not doing all that much here. These are the commies. We don't. Want, it seems like the commies are like everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere I look, it's communists. It's weird. We need to get rid of this, is what we need to get rid of. Um, and we might as well get you guys doing something useful rather than sitting on your hands. Well, we could cut down his supply a little, maybe, or maybe not. Let's plow forward. Really? Are you kidding me? Can I swap? I can't swap, really? Wow, this terrain slowing me way down, much further than I wanted. Uh, man, you got kicked around a little bit. Okay, what else? What am I missing? I'm always assuming I'm going to miss something here in these early phases until things settle down a little bit. Um, okay, let's... Um, yeah, they're coming that way. So let's... Yeah, let's, let's come over here. All right. Uh, nothing down here at all. So now let's look at purchase. Well, no, let's not. Let's actually look at research first because we're down to, we're down. We can only pick one major one. Uh, what do we want? Uh, let's see. Infantry, advanced tanks, I'm not really going to worry about that. Fighters, bombers are good. You know, industrial tech. Yeah. So is there anything here I can buy? Like, do I really want submarine warfare? Probably not. Um, any tank weapons? Probably not. Yeah. So we'll just let that go. Uh, let's look at, yeah, let's look at, whoa, look at this. <laughs> this will change, that's for sure. Graphs, national morale. So the Japanese are at 97, which is about as good as you can get. The U.S. is at the same thing. That's a little surprising. Nationalist China, 75. That's actually a little better than I thought it might be. Okay. That's, I was hoping the U.S. might be a little lower having been slapped around, but I guess they're so mad that they just want to go fight. Yeah. Um, okay. By the way, do these guys... Really? 
Okay. Man, a lot of units need upgrading. You know, before you start a war, you think you might want to upgrade your your ships. But then again, maybe they just don't have time to do all that. Okay, so we're all here. I think we're pretty good. Whoops. So let's go ahead and see. China. Oh. Good. Nice. Uh, okay. Good. Yeah. Good. It's a good thing for us. Okay, that's nice. Okay. See, why, why am I seeing this? I shouldn't be seeing this. I shouldn't be, well, maybe. I mean, some of this I might get through intelligence agents or something, but I'm not, I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> I don't think the Japanese were that well informed, but I could be wrong. Oh, crud, they reinforced those guys. Urgh. Enemy contact. Oh, jolly. I didn't see which enemy it was. Because I was looking in the wrong spot. And I don't do the last turn summary, so... Oh, well, we sunk somebody. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that sounds like old Mac. Or is my father a World War II Marine who fought in the Pacific? First in the Marine, 4th Marine Raider Battalion, and then 4th Brigade, 6th Marine Division. Loved to call him, as most World War II Marines did. Dug out Doug. May not have been fair, but that was an accurate representation of their feelings, I assure you. Okay. Um, let's... Yeah, they probably got all the way. But let's just see. Okay, the DD's there. Which probably wasn't worth doing that to my sub. Uh, but okay, hold up a minute. Let's... Yeah, there's the garrison. We need you up here. We need you to hit him. Very nice. Yes! But we can't take it! Won't do any good. Can't take it. Doggone it. If they send somebody else in there, I'm going to really be unhappy. Okay, um, down here is, yeah, and it's raining. That means I can't even hit him, right? And I've got a fighter, so it wouldn't do any good any, well, apparently I can. For all the good it's going to do me. Ugh, only one. Okay, well, I took two off of him. Back up. He can't get there. Da. Ah, the terrain here is, like, not good at all. Let's get you repaired. Ditto you. You, sir, are going to get amphibiously ready to rock. Because um, we've got stuff we need to get done over here. Let's just hope nobody decides to come and <laughs> take these back, or I'm really going to be unhappy. Um... Let's check properties. No. Shouldn't there be a set mode for this? There's not. Okay. Ah. 
good. Yes. Wiped him out. All right. All right. That's what we're talking about here now. And... Uh, didn't see anything. Okay. Um... We're going to come after this guy because he's just annoying the heck out of me. Really? Let's see if we can do better than that. God, yeah, we did worse, a lot worse. That's bad. We heard him. But not enough. Not enough. And you can't dig in, can you? No, you can upgrade? Really? We'll do it since you're on the front lines. Um, what are you? You're... Okay, so we need to... We can't do anything. Oh, it just showed up. Um, really? I got a, I, a super battleship. I've got to upgrade the Yamato. Wow. I would have thought it would have come upgraded, but apparently not. Uh, there we go. Hello. Um, and there was one other thing. Yeah, you. Let's get you moving. Um... So if I move this guy up here to take his place, this guy, could this guy hold it? Because it's a Japanese unit. I think I can. That's what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to pay for this later, but, you know, later we'll just have to deal with itself. Because right now we got problems right here in River City, so we got to take care of that. All right. Um... Ah, okay. So that's looking good. Let's see. Are you the one that I'm... Yeah. I guess we'll just leave you there for the time being. Um, yeah, you need to get down here. Take Rabal. What am I doing? Where's the... Oh, my God. I didn't realize he was that far away. This is going to take time. Which is exactly and precisely what I don't have. But, oh, well. Nobody there. So, that's nice. Let's just... Oh, we can't even go there. Let's just back up. Um... Guam, I don't. Yeah, it's Japan. You know, we talk, okay. All right, um, because this is Japanese. Oh, no, that's British. See if maybe we can give them a little support next time. Uh, meanwhile, there they are. Let's, speaking of support, um, yeah, let's come down here. Got to head in that direction anyway if we want to get near Guadalcanal. So might as well do it now. It is probably not a great idea, though, to have my carriers, ooh, lead like this and outrun me. I mean, the battleships, I understand, but really, you you should be able to get out in front of them, almost. You, yeah, almost, too. Okay. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta take better care of my carriers. Um, 
let's come back here and just spy. Now they used to have, they did. We're gonna be silent. And see what we can see. My supply is still five, so what's, readiness is 84, that's not bad, morale 69, okay. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, let's um, get ourselves organized here. Let's keep upgrading the armies here. Um, that we can. God, these garrison units are just killing me. This is like a whole different game in China from what it used to be. I'm not really sure how to... Uh, I may check the strategy guide on this one. I'm not really sure how to proceed here. So, um, yeah. There's that. Okay, we've done everything here. Unfortunately, I can't get in there. Ugh, it's so frustrating. Um, let's pull back to here. All right. Um, yeah, let's give these guys... Well, he's in the port. He's not, so... Give them a little protection. And uh, might as well bring you down here, too. All right, I think, whoops, that's going to do everything. So what can, uh, can I research or purchase? What have I got? 162. So I could go for the infantry weapons or the naval weapons. Let's do naval first. And that will pretty much clean me out. So with that, we're going to call it quits for this one. But come back next time for more. Till then, it's the Wargaming Guy. Let me know what you think. Let me know any ideas that you have. And we'll see how everything goes. So till next time, take care, everybody. And uh, I'll see you later.